Princess Vanathi the damsel when Vanathi was introduced I struggled to understand why she was given such an importance I did not know if I was supposed to like her she is the very personification of every cliche about princesses she is a dizzy damsel in distress she faints at literally everything Vanathi is privileged but without an agency she lets things happen to her she is supposed to marry the prince by virtue of her family's close ties to the Chola kingdom She dreams about him and falls in love with him without giving a thought to who he is as a person. She is even ready to kill herself on receiving the news of his death. It is hard to side with her or even empathize with someone like her. But she made it to this list because she taught me something valuable. There is depth to every person, however vapid they might seem at first glance. If you care enough to find out As the story goes, we see Vanathi grow into someone stronger and take her life into her own hands. We learn why she is the way she is. There is a back story to what seemed like a love of convenience in the beginning that makes it more organic. When she attempts suicide, it looks like it's because she is dependent on a guy who she has barely spoken to. But later, we see her ready to sacrifice herself to protect the living prince from danger out of love, not of dependency. When she realizes that she is pitted against another woman, a commoner, in her efforts to gain the prince's affection, instead of pulling that woman down, she lifts herself up. She is even ready to give up the throne just to prove that her love is not shallow. I never really warmed up to her, but I got a place where I could understand her.